Joe, here's an Israeli source. The source is now 14's website. It's all in Hebrew. It's an Israeli website. We're not going to trust Palestinians. Your boyfriend posted this. What? You want to translate it? Here you go. But instead of calling them Palestinian civilians, they called them terrorists. Now, to be honest, I don't know how Israel is coming up with these numbers. There are no Israelis in Gaza. They're probably stealing the numbers from Palestinian sources. But anyways, now one simple note here are the 9,700 terrorists. How many of them are kids? I'm just wondering because the Ministry of Health said that more than 3,000 are kids. How many of these terrorists are kids? Just like a tiny detail, you know? And you know what I found very funny? This is the Israeli source of the Palestinian death count. And this is the Palestinian source by the Ministry of Health. The Israeli source has more murder counts than the Palestinian source. Now, Joe, you know that death rate is real. What are you going to do about this? Today, President Joe Biden plans to ask Congress for roughly $100 billion in emergency spending over the next year, including $14 billion for Israeli aid. Okay, that makes sense.